Welcome Hello! Back. Ah. Welcome back. Today's June 11th. So you know what that means. It's Sunday. Another shot at Chain of Memories. I was gonna say Summer Games Fest is Summer a thing. Games Fest is a thing. So, before I move on to my epic rant about something else, let's review Summer Games Fest. The first thing that I noticed was Sonic... I want to say it's called Sonic Synergy, but it's not. Sonic Superstars is yeah. the actual name. What is this, Mario Party? <laughs> Sin Super uh, Superstars. Actually, is Sonic Synergy a real game? No. Uh, I know there was a Sonic Mario Party clone for the Dreamcast. Pretty sure that Sonic Synergy is what the marketing team was, uh, talks about at Sega every time that they have to do shit. Yeah, I don't know why I call it Synergy. Oh, Sinner that was the original name of Sonic Boom on Wii U. That's that's where I got the name from. That's significantly worse. I know. But yeah, Sonic Superstars is basically the new Super Mario Brothers of the Sonic series. Complete with four player co op as if they've learned nothing from Nintendo's mistake. Because you know multiplayer Mario goes. I did see some people uh, uh being happy at seeing Classic Amy again. Yeah. Even though every time I think Classic Amy, all I can think is, this bitch is 8. She's not actually, I think she's 12, I think. I don't know. I've seen people concerned about the price of the game, which is being sold for 60 launch. No, like, uh, yeah, no, I like, think canonically she. Her age is fucking weird because I think they've tried retconning her recently to try and age her up to make it slightly less creepy on the whole. Her having a really obsessive crush on Sonic, which they've also been like 12. getting rid of. Twelve. Yeah, I'm talking about her first appearance. Originally eight. Yeah. Cause she aged herself up canonically, which is how she re she got to twelve. Huh. Because if you notice, uh, no one else is fucking aged that much. Anyways. <laughs> I've seen people concerned about the game, about the fact that I just dropped my controller, about the fact that the game will cost sixty dollars. And uh, to that I say, Nintendo also sold new Super Mario Bros. Games a lot for sixty dollars, and nobody bet in the 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 difference here is people knew what the fuck they were getting with that game. Yeah, and it's still, that, that that was what the fourth iteration of New Super Mario Brothers? and it was a port, a Wii U game, and it sold like over ten million, twenty million copies. To be fair, no one had the Wii U game. I mean... Uh, you don't count. <laughs> Not in a Scott. I'm pretty sure it was one of the highest selling Wii U games, actually. Yeah, I know. But but who the fuck owned a Wii U other than Nintendo me. fans? Me. Again, I said other than Nintendo fans. Uh... Um, this local youth center did. Uh, and then they replaced it with a Switch. Because, you know. They also had a PS3, and they replaced that with a PS4. And somehow they managed to replace that with a PS5. Costco, probably. Uh, I see PS5s at Costco. No. I saw a PS5 in store, and I was like, is this real? Every time I see one, all I can think is, "What? This exists?" I mean, when people I see are so struggling to find this. How are you here? When I see an Xbox Series in store, I'm like, oh, "Okay, that's cool." But when I see a PS5, I'm like, what? "Uh, what else? Fuck, what else is announced?" I mean, if you're talking Summer's Game Fest, there was also uh, I'm doing it. I'm trying to think of Mortal Kombat One. That. Which looks pretty damn cool so far. I'm, uh, I'm curious as to how it will want to run on the Switch. That is a very good question. Considering the only other platforms are PS5, Series X, and PC. Which are all like juggernauts in terms of power. And then there's Nintendo Switch, which has the power of like Xbox 360. On the plus side, and damn it looks good. <laughs> And it's not going to be a cloud version either, so... The thing is, Mortal Kombat has a long, 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 long history of porting shit to Nintendo handhelds 
Um, <laughs> you, you say GBA like the first, like you shouldn't have brought up the original Game Boy first. I, I said Game Boy after. Yeah. It, it was also on the Wii. I find that funny. The Wii version actually had an original character. Really? Uh, yes. I say original like it wasn't literally a gender swap variant of a, of a different character, but canonically they are separate people. Uh, and that's uh, Chameleon, spelled with a K, um, who was basically a female variant on Chameleon, who was a, kind of a joke on how many uh, ninja color swaps there were, by having a ninja that's basically every color. Uh, rainbow. Yeah, and Chameleon was a female variant on that. They're actually like a, like a species that's like really rare because most have been wiped out. Um, and she was exclusive to that one, to the Wii version of, I think it was Armageddon. Armageddon. Yeah. There was one on the GameCube about the stem shit. I don't know if you not. No, I'm, I'm still thinking Wii, that time. Yeah. Armageddon was the Wii one. It was also on PS2, and I think original Xbox? Yeah. That was, pretty sure that was the last Mortal Kombat on Nintendo until 11. I know people ask for X to be on Wii U, but, uh... To be fair, you know, X is mid-game. I was gonna say, you know, it's a Wii U. But I'm, I'm just straight up gonna say it. I really do not like the aesthetic of X. Really? Well, yeah. Uh. Did you see it? That game had no fucking color. Yeah. It felt like the 2000s are... It felt like a 2000s FPS. It was all brown, gray, and black... And, and, like, black and white. It was just, yeah. like... I like some of the guest characters in it, though. Yeah, the guest characters are cool. That didn't change the fact that that it felt like really fucking washed out all over the place. That's true. I tried to get it right on my PC recently. It, it stutters a lot because my PC is not strong. <laughs> also, speaking of guest characters, one of them was Jason Voorhees, and it very recently got announced that Friday the Thirteenth, the game, is finally shutting down. Like, actually. Anyone remember that game? Oh, uh, Kevin. Hmm. Well, the game's being delisted by the end of the year, and it will be shut down the, uh, but sometime during or after December 31st, 2024. I feel bad for them for having to make a game on a franchise that is in illegal hell. Yeah. And, but to... Uh, be nice to everyone, the base game will be just perfectly discounted to five dollars digitally, and each DLC will go for one dollar. Mm. Not that anyone plays this game. I still see some people do it. Well, it's going to it's going bye-bye. Because <laughs> thanks, copyright. Yeah. Speaking of copyright shit, um, I, I, uh, was, I uploaded a snippet of my Star Wars project to YouTube to test, um, it's private, but I did to test to see if it was getting, getting that issue with copyright. It was. It was. It did. One for, one from Square Enix, because I used a, a Final Fantasy song. And... Honestly, you should have seen that one coming. Right. And... Two from Disney themselves, who straight up decided to block the video worldwide. Because, you know, I pretty clearly stated it's fair use. Uh, did you use stills or video? Video. Change it to stills, that might help. Well, it only affected two scenes. Out of like the. 50 yeah, no, change those scenes to stills. I could. <laughs> if I don't... That would put, like, a really heavy filter on it, like... I'll probably do that. Like, like, like uh, shrink it and then cover it with, like, a red filter or something like that. Yeah. And then they'll talk about spray something else. <laughs> they would, but at the same time, they'd, ha they'd have to go manually find yeah. new shit to copyright. Yeah. You know, make their life a little, a little bit of a fucking hell. 
which they deserve. Well, uh, it was a test upload, so I'm not going to engage this. Uh, so nice having a deck that isn't literally hand like just kneecapping me at every opportunity. Uh, yeah. Um. So yeah, I did that. I bought a hentai game on my Switch recently. How was that? It was bad. <laughs> it was two dollars, but <laughs> I bought it. You get what you paid for. <laughs> it was a puzzle game. Puzzle game. And it, and it sucked. When it comes to porn games and puzzle games, all I can think is Honey Pop. Isn't that on Switch? I have no idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look that up. Honey Pop Switch. Uh. But they are interested in playing on Switch, they only kind of know about it. It's up in the air, really. When Nintendo... And, and before you add... Well, Nintendo has four on the Switch. They have rejected games before. Yeah, that's why I said it's up in the air. If they let get, games get away with being real pervy, but I have the feeling that they have some limitations on that shit anyways. If only just to, like, keep AO games out. Yeah. Picking up my daughter, I also remembered something else I was showing on Summer Games Fest. Um, and it stuck out to me because I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth got a trailer and released window, not date, yeah. uh, saying it's not coming out this year. And, and it's such a big game that the PS5, a single PS5 disc, won't be able to hold it. I uh, have two discs. Which I'm pretty sure is the first multi-disc PS5 game. PS5 disc can hold up to 100 gigs. Yeah. So the fact that it needs two is automatically like some insanity. It's also concerning because I that worries a lot of people in their storage because as you everyone knows, PS5 storage is a joke. Yep. People are gonna have to buy an SSD just for this game. Like Original remake was uh, the PS4 version was two discs. When it was ported to PS5, it could fit on a single disc. So there was making this thing like at least double the size of that game, and that was already a fairly big game. Hmm. Now Square's gonna fuck it up by adding an FD to this. So, speaking about that remake, did you actually see the trailer? Yes, I watched the Xbox Showcase live. And I watched the leak. Anyway, that was the that was for the one yesterday, like yesterday. Uh, not oh, yesterday. I mean, no. a few days ago. Oh, Reaper. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I saw the first opening second, and I was like, "What the hell is this?" And then I saw Final Fantasy. And I, was like, oh. I did see uh, the two discs part, and that's it. Okay, so and then 
And then Camden responded with, with a meme saying, a Western game developer has been here. How could you tell? 105 megabytes. <laughs> Ugh. But like, uh, so to tell you what happened in that trailer, um, it starts off with, like, a newscast from Midgar where seemingly a tornado has, like, struck and caused major disasters in several sectors. And along with that, you can see, uh, uh Shinra troops taking away what seems to be the bodies of the main cast, except for Cloud. So they're dead. Uh, before it cuts to the main cast, uh, actually beginning the adventure. So, th that has left to some speculation, including the idea that that might be in that timeline Zack is in, that seems- because everyone's like, agrees. Zack's almost certainly not where the main cast is at right now, yeah. at the end of Intergrade. Uh, so some people are thinking that, uh, that along with this one- Flash of uh, the reunion scene with where seemingly Cloud is with them, especially since he says reunion too. Um, people are speculating that th that's meant to be like that timeline Zack is alive in. Um, we get to see the game and it looks amazing. Um, we get to meet Elena. We get to see what seems to be tool, uh, li like dual attacks. Like, uh, so characters can now, uh, do, like, special attacks where they team up with each other. So that's awesome. Yeah. And along with that, um, we get more of Sephiroth trying to mindfuck everyone. Because that's what he does. Yeah. Specifically by talking about, like, how Genova can transform into anyone, people you love, you, f uh, you fear, you hate. Uh, emphasis on love, since that's actually the thing he said last. Before he starts talking about how he killed someone, and, uh, who the hell is she? Thing is, that's the uh, I killed her line comes explicitly from the American one, right? Yeah. The, the English version. In Japanese, it's, uh, uh, he was a lot more upfront about who her was. He says, I killed Tifa. Hmm. So, it's up in the area of, like, it's implying that, like, well, obviously, he's trying to imply that Tifa might be uh, Genova. But, like, it's up in the air if he's telling the truth, if he's bullshitting, or, let's be honest here, if he thinks he might have he might have done her in, because, yeah, he did grievously harm her. And we actually know how she survived getting hit by his Sephiroth, by the way. Mm. Uh, her master Zangan found her as she was dying, and he basically picked her up Spammed healing magic all the way through, and took her and took her to a place where she can get uh, surgery. And uh, one of the spin-off books uh, actually like talked about uh, like that whole surgery thing and how and how like it, it put her into some medical debt that she ended up having to fight against and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. So on some level, we know that it's that Tifa's almost certainly like alive and well. It's just that Sephiroth's fucking with everyone. But with how the the ending of the last game was, people are, are like uh, are of the opinion that maybe we should take him at face value because let's be honest here, it wouldn't be out of the question here. Well, we'll see if the game comes out. And people can play this. This is not the full Final Fantasy VII disc two. This is like two percent of Final Fantasy VII disc two. People think the people think that it's uh, that the reason for the second disc is so that it can end at uh, the northern. Not the wrong creator. Um, yeah, actually, uh, specifically at the point where uh, sure? Sephiroth is given the black materia and uh, like the weapons are released onto the world. I'm pretty sure the second disc is just with so many. That's with most multi disc games. Yeah, but you know, I'm, I'm saying that the whole point of it being so large is for that. Maybe. Or maybe those painstakingly realistic graphics took up too much power. Or square instant and be stupid and pull and put in these hard lines there that requires a bunch of data points to I mean, the last game already took, like, what, 70, like, 50, 70, something? Wow. 90, 80 data points? Took a lot. A lot. I had to uninstall it. To make room for other games because PS5 sword is a joke. I 
it was I did it on PC, because I, I could fit it on there, but I don't think my PC can run that kind of game. Anyways, uh, what else was shown? Uh, I feel like... I don't know. Okay, let's, let me think about my memories of that, the, the one I did see. Summer Games Fest. There was... I know Alan Wake 2 was shown, but I didn't give a shit about that one. $60 digital only game. Oh, Spider-Man 2 got release date of October 20th. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm back on. October 20th, with the box art reveal. I just started playing Spider-Man Remastered after watching it on the Spider-Verse for the second time. My mom came in with this movie. She was ready for another 30 minutes. You print the Persia game, but it's not soft game by the time. Oh yeah, that that one's uh like a two D uh, a two D action adventure game. So you know, akin to things like Metroidvania, Shantae. But it do be soft. No. Transformers is coming to Fortnite. That's the whole thing. Like a dragon Gaiden. Got it. The... Got it. So the, that one is interesting because if because of what ha what it like does, and that's the fact that it's going to be following uh, Kidio from the original uh, six games. Yeah. It's interesting because yeah, he basically wrote himself out of the story to try and protect the family, and now shit's happening to bring him back. Although they have stated that the guidance are not going to be like the full length of a of a regular like a dragon game, and it will be like half the length. The, he is going to he's going to come out of retirement to fight this giant mechanized chicken that threatens all of his family. <laughs> I say that as a joke. From what I've heard about Yakuza, that doesn't sound like a question. Some Star Trek strategy game, which I don't care for because it's Star Trek. Um, <laughs> a game called Power, which someone called Mama with John. It's kind of funny. Lord of the Rings game, not Golem, because I heard that game was bad. Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis still exists. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. Uh, Twisted Metal is doing a TV show on Peacock. Next which week. I felt the need to advertise for. Because it's a game based thing. I don't know. New season of Call of Duty, which is currently unsafe to play because uh, so the game is the newest one is currently riddled with hackers that can grab your IP address regardless of what console you're playing on. <laughs> so that'll be seventy dollars, even on PS4. Uh, put in Witcher Season 3. Nicholas Cage is coming to Dead by Daylight, which is funny. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the funniest part is that he gets actual voice lines. Yeah. Well. Alright, that's enough. That's enough of Summer Games Fest. Now we have what happened this morning, which I watched live. Mm -hmm. Xbox Games Showcase. It was something. They started out with with a, a jump scare of a British person. I never felt more scared in my life. British. Dude, I got a British magazine in the mail a couple days ago. And it said, shipped directly from the UK. Now I'm scared. You know. Mm -hmm. First thing they revealed was Fable, a new game, a reboot. Mm -hmm. I've never played Fabled. Fabled, Fable, so I don't care. Yeah. Expansion pack to Cyberpunk 2077. Keanu was there, supposedly. He was. I saw him. So that was cool. Avowed from Obsidian Entertainment. 
a black one terabyte Xbox Series S is coming September first. Of course, showing that Microsoft <laughs> legitimately thinks about things that Sony wouldn't ever think about. You know, like ha giving its uh, fucking game consoles more fucking memory. All right, now is the two terabyte white Xbox Series X to counterbalance it. <laughs> Starfield gets a kind of full direct, which I did not watch. That's midnight. Ubisoft's open world Star Wars game is going to be called Star Wars Outlaws, which is an open world Ubisoft game. You have a gun. And an animal companion. I. I like the idea of an open world Star Wars game, but the fact that it's being made by Ubisoft is hard for me. Because, you know. Ubisoft games are kind of copy paste. Nope. Coming next year, Forza Motorsport. Uh, not Forza Horizon, Forza Motorsport. The ones focused on strictly racing. Clockwork Revolution from Inxile and Metaphor Repentantasio from the previous Persona. It looks it looks really freaking Atlas thing. It looks like an Atlas game. Where's the hot spring scene? I was talking with a friend about how bad the hot spring scenes are in Persona games. Well, like, like for a reason. They're just I don't know. They're they're stupid. And there was like like the the, the dudes get punished for something they didn't even know the what was going to happen. Like, they didn't know that girls would be there. Mm. It didn't happen in 5, but then it did happen in Strikers. And I... And my replay of Golden uh, reaffirmed how much I despise the Hot Spring scene in that game. Genuinely. For which reason? It's stupid. Uh... For, it was supposed to be the boys' time, but the... Girl, girls showed up anyway, and they decided, eh, let's not tell them. And it was stupid. I don't know, they got away scot-free with it. Yeah, it's it's the general, like... It's it's honestly more thanks to, like, uh... We live in a society. I was gonna say, tropes of the industry that kind of prevents them from being in the wrong. The... And then, uh, Payday 3 was shown off. I played- I used to play Payday 2 a lot on the Xbox, and then they never updated it, so I stopped playing. I tried to get it right now on my PC, and it, uh, fucked around my entire computer. So that was fun. Hey, it's gonna be on Game Pass, and they said they're actually gonna update the console versions this time. Supposedly. I don't trust them. Hey, it's coming to Switch as well, in the old 500 PC, PS5 series X, which is helping to sing. And then after that, they showed uh, something that uh, Sega accidentally posted on their Instagram a couple days in advance. A full remake of Persona 3. Persona 3 Reload. Coming to early 2024 as an Xbox exclusive, that's a joke. It's also coming to PS4, 5, and Switch. And Steam. But it'll be on Game Pass, and I looked this up after. They're not including stuff from the answer, Fez, or the female main character from Portable. And people are like, okay, they can just make the jailbait DLC. People will pay for that. So that and every time a purchase is made, a new arrest is made. <laughs> it, finally, I can play Persona 3. Because <laughs> I I was gonna play Portable, but then I saw the remake announcement and I deleted that shit. But though, considering there's no female, I might just play Portable just with a female. No. And never yeah, again. Yeah. Funny, funny news about that um about that remake. The entire voice cast is getting uh, recasted. Yeah. I thought at least a bunch of people have already announced who they're gonna be playing. Yeah. I thought I th I knew they were gonna recast at least Junpei because his voice actor got in a bit of a funny situation. It's a bit. Um, and Lick. 
Yeah. That wasn't me in disgust. That was me almost having a skittle, like, go through my fucking air pipe. Mm. And, uh... But I did not think they would recast every single human being. Granted, they did the same thing for Final Fantasy VII, but... I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, the recast in VII was for the best. Yeah. F I initially thought they would recast some, and the voice actors they did bring back, they would just re-report all the lines. Which did sound fresh. But, nope. But, hey, Persona 3 Remake. Persona 3 Reload looks good. Yeah, it's a. It looks like a. Okay. Looks like Persona 5. Give him major Persona vibes. Mm -hmm. Which, uh. That game needs the remake the most. Can't wait for the Persona 4 remake in 2029. And also, we got another Persona 5 spin off because Atlas is going to make Persona 5 spin offs with every letter of the alphabet until Persona 6 comes out. This one is Persona 5 Tactica, or D5D. And the combat, people are saying the combat looks a lot like Capcom. Well, personally, I consider it to be fire. And it also has a Q art style. <laughs> and, uh, also gonna be multi platform on Game Pass. It, I am glad this perfectly lines up with my recent X Trauma Dimension. So hopefully my skills from that game will fail in this game. And hey, more Phantom Thieves. Can't wait to see uh, Kasumi Sophie from Striker. Remember, if, it, if it's not at 100, it'll still miss. I can't wait to see all the characters introduced in Royal and Striker and Phantom Dort. Because Atlas is stupid. Granted, there are some reasons, but there was there is reasons that, you, that makes sense that they wouldn't be there. But you know. for those who played the two games, you would know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and there, another person sitting to my left. Um, and also, I saw another uh, post say that there's going to be a, another Persona game coming out next year. Uh, have all the cash. And literally, when I when I heard what, what he told me, all I could think is bullshit. Cause like it said, they're gonna have all the cast from Persona One through Five, and I'm like, they're actually acknowledging One and Two. I mean, they did pretty the anniversary, but like, they're actually acknowledging One and Two. Yeah, anytime that like the idea of Alice acknowledging one and two comes up comes up, I can think it's yeah, right. Could you imagine? The day Persona 1 and 2 did acknowledge the day. And I also remember Atlas at some point had trademarks or not trademarks, domains are necessary for P5U, P5M, and P5B. Huh. Which, mean, which means we are getting Persona 5 Burger, Persona 5 Melee, and Persona 5, uh... What's the letter that's right in here? It's a Wii U port. I don't know. I forgot that it's this already. My joke? A joke that I joke that Persona 5 that P5B was Persona 5 Balling and it would be a basketball spin-off. And now that I said that out loud, they're gonna steal my idea. idea. This uh P P1 through P5 game, this is code name Asa ASA. Yeah, which I don't, which is probably not the final title, and it has Paul Melvins. Multiplayer Persona game. Wow. Got it. Yeah. Is a tribute to Persona fans. I don't know why I'm. Will it actually be dubbed this time? We'll see. Anyway. You know, Persona. If that Persona big crossover game is real. Well, of course I buy it. And that. I get the distinct feeling that it, yeah, that if it did come into existence, it'd just be a way to show for five and like basically knock down every other group. Maybe. 
Maybe this is their one last fist. One hand crossed from his mouth before the Sonic Sandwich comes out. After the uh, other. At least three other Sonic Fire spin offs, because. Well, let's face it, it's not going to die anytime soon. Sage isn't coming out anytime soon. Because Atlas knows they have a lot to look up to. Um. Well, in both these. Both the announcement zone games are the on Game Pass. Of course, I scroll and see what can fight. See if these are doing the crossover with Monkey Island. I saw a Lucasfilm one going down there, and I was like, are they, are they uh, crossing over with Star Wars? And I remember, oh wait, Monkey Island is this. Yep. Trying to stay awake. The new Microsoft Flight Simulator game. Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth was revealed. Ah, uh, yes. Like a Dragon Capitalism Simulator. Uh, had, had you know, the, one that isn't zero. Had the main character wake up is on a shore in Hawaii without any clothing. And I'm like, okay. People still play Fallout 56, getting expansion. Online, Chase Airlines 2. That's it. <laughs> That's the full game! Showcase game. Xbox. X. Whatever. I noticed. I was looking. I was looking. And the only games that were announced are not Xbox 1. We're turning towards the Sony games. Everything else was series modes. If you don't wake up, I'm gonna pour that water bottle on you. I don't know why. Eesh. Maybe it's something to do with the rep repetition of the of this gameplay. Well, this game sucks, to be fair. <sighs> the only games that were announced that had native Xbox One versions were uh, Sony games. Which means it's time to upgrade people. more is left of this world. Well, Jeez. Well, uh, what else has happened recently? Um... I watched Spider-Verse again. I noticed some things I did not notice the first watch through. Mm. Other than that, uh... I, I, it's better than the first one, I'm just gonna say that. Some people are like it's worse, some people say it's better. I, I enjoyed it a lot either way. <sighs> you can already pre order the game. Game. You can already pre order the movie though for yourself for thirty dollars. When's the movie actually coming out? They haven't said. Then why set of pre orders? Because they always do that when the movie hits theaters. Mm -hmm. Like you can now rent Mario for twenty five dollars. Who the fuck pays twenty five dollars to rent a movie? <laughs> Ugh. So yeah, some of you wondering which was better, the PlayStation Showcase or the Xbox Showcase? I have a bias for the Persona series, so I am automatically. Say Xbox. <laughs> PlayStation had Spider Man, and that's it. And Metal Gear. And Freddy Fazbear. Um, in terms of my life, I got my request to drop out of Peru. So I'm a college dropout, everyone. <laughs> until, until August, it is. Uh, 
<laughs> I also... I also bought some new Switch games for cheap. Um, mainly, because they were $20. I bought this dumb one called Lego Brawls. I haven't tried it yet. And I... Uh, and I also made the worst investment of my life. Have help wine on Switch, which uh, is a VR game, but the Switch doesn't have VR. And before you say loud, that doesn't count. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're dying. Hey. Hey. Hmm. So outside of that, I've been playing Tears of the Kingdom more. How was that? It's been pretty fun. Yeah. Forget what I've been playing. I don't know what I mentioned. Um. You gonna pick up the controller? Yeah, it's just... hmm. It is a bit weird just how quickly I run out of energy with certain games. Let's see, um... Hmm. Yeesh. I'm debating if I should talk about what I want to talk about now or until the next thing, because you clearly seem to be enjoying this conversation. Sorry! Yeesh. Uh... I really need to do something to wake myself up, which is weird because. Oh, I, no, I got the perfect solution. No! <laughs> I have a phone on me. I'm not about to let you dump water on me. Huh. <sighs> well, uh, a lot of subreddits are going dark. Uh, pretty sure in like an hour. Uh, tomorrow, actually. Yeah. Because of uh, some sort of API thing? I think so. Not exactly sure, but like Red's increasing the cost of some sort of thing. Like third party, third party, uh. Third party, party application? Application, yeah. yeah. And so, several, a lot of subreds are going dark for, uh. I don't know what to say about this, by the way, because on one hand, I support them for doing so, but on the other hand, I don't think I'm going to be going through with it. 12 a.m.? Too lazy to... 12 a.m. Eastern Time. 12 a.m. Mm -hmm. And for a full 48 hours, finally, the Raiders can go outside. Also, um, um, not gonna lie, Logan. That was very much a Nickelodeon day of play moment. Yeah. They can go to town, like, now if you can just switch to other fucking websites. But do writers use other websites? Hmm? 
Do Redditors use other websites? Yeah. Huh. Oh! And speaking of Reddit, I've been getting a weirdly large amount of porn bots following me <laughs> on the site. So, um... Take that as you, uh... You can tell they're a porn bot if they have a free OnlyFans in their bio. <laughs> now, why me? Yeesh. Trying to figure out what to make the store. week I watched a six hours not the pause video. Some of you may be asking, how? Longest video is two hours. Well you see, he made this thing called a highlights channel. And one of those highlights is a six hour compilation of all those Nintendo Switch next year's in, you know. <laughs> Five years in, so I rewatched all of that. And it was uh I was like, man. This guy sure just like the bitch. It also reminded me of the 3D All-Star in the early I thought was stupid. <laughs> and everyone else thought it was stupid. <laughs> Steven's really annoying the conversation. Sleeping. I'm trying my damn hardest to stay awake. Sorry, you don't get any magic or anything like that. At a certain point, it's literally just keep hitting X. You know we didn't have to do a redo. <sighs> it's vital to the story. We should have just watched the cutscene on YouTube. Mm. But you know, welcome to Uneven Buddies. Our motto is torture. It's the most obvious. Take it, take it. We suffer for your entertainment. Perfect. Yes. 
This room was a mistake. Okay, it's quite clear then. Look, doing these really big rooms is just gonna put me asleep even more. I may need caffeine in my system. Hmm. The problem is I should, uh, I should be ordering my my lunch sooner rather than later, but I hate to taste coffee, that's the issue. That's the reason I said I should order my lunch sooner rather than later, if only just to get the soda. Pretty sure we have soda in the fridge. I don't want to impose.
also like to hate my statement about this game being a 3 out of 10 game. Because clearly it doesn't deserve a 3 out of 10. It's a 2 out of 10 game. This game is not even worse. It's no near as like janky as Sora Story, but the end point of Sora Story and the end point of Rika Story, like, it kind of switches over what's more enjoyable. Mm. Sora has access to magic and a bunch of slights that do crazy shit like the tornado and stuff like that, which usually makes it a, vi a visual spectacle and all that. Meanwhile, Riku has literally no magic and just keeps doing the same shit over and over again! And there is something that I wanted to discuss, but Steven's gonna fall asleep during it, so I'm Ugh. saving it for the next game. Until I pour that- until I get- finally get to be able to pour that water bottle on him. Not like happening. It's gonna happen one day. It won't. That's a threat. There we go. Oh, there he is. The looking for well, I was, but... He's been there for a bit. I just haven't acknowledged. He hides a lot. Um... I'll s I will s I will comment on this really weird dream I had one pretty recently. Um, I was, like, in my bedroom, and, like, two people were crashing over at my place for some reason. Uh, and, and uh, they, they just, they would, uh, they kept loudly, like, doing sexual stuff to each other. And, uh, and I was like, you guys realize this is not your house, and there's someone else living here. And then I woke up, and I was like, okay, they got a single where the hell did that one come from? That is a good one. Thank you, they weren't real people, otherwise, they would be real. But it. In that dream, I also, I also made two battles, and yes, they hit the spot, but it was... And then that morning, as I woke up, I had two battles for breakfast. So now I'm scared. Actually, I moved to the same spot.
What doesn't help is that the heat's actually starting to pick up Yunus. Yeah, I know, and I still haven't brought that damn AC here. Let's see. I feel bad for anyone who watches this video at the end, it's gonna be really long, like, good piece of how long it is, but honestly. This is that Just like how you fell asleep right now, I'm saying that. Yeah. Really stop falling asleep during these kinds of games. I mean, if you wanted to prove that point, I guess this would be an excellent example. Hmm. 
And ironically, it has been more than an hour at this point. Yeah. So I have like half the world to get through. Should we call it today for, for Kingdom Hearts? Yes. This game sucks. Ugh, I'm just... I don't know. I'm just tired. You know, water's wet. I don't know what we'll be doing from here. Probably continuing Banjo to Zoe. Yeah. Did, because didn't you, you say we were like halfway through? Halfway through, yeah. So yeah, that probably would be the next log the logical course here, just to finish that game. Also, shout out to four years ago today being when Banjo was revealed for Smash. How, why am I so old? Sorry for, uh, for how today's been, guys. I have literally no idea. Maybe I, maybe I should have drank like soda before getting here or something like that. Yeah. So yeah. And this is where I erase a save file. That's a joke. <laughs>